How do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards TV. We're continuing with our Kotlin Java Effects series. Now, in this class, you're going to see how to actually populate a Java Effects list view from an array list. In the previous class, we talked about the population, of course, using um, an array. Now, in this class, we're going to see how to do it using an array list. Clearly, you can see we have our nice list view, and you see if we select an item, then you are able to show it in our dialog. So this is what we're going to look at. So join me. We get started. So go ahead, create your project. Yeah, I already have my project. Okay. So this is named KT. This is what we're interested in. Of course, our language is Kotlin. The first thing we're going to specify our package name. The package, the package that is going to host our class. So our class. This is what we call our class. Now we're going to make this class extend JavaFX dot application dot application then you're going to have some imports which you're going to make then of course once we have that one we're going to have a met, uh, our list a variable called them list view as an object then we'll come and then we're going to have override a method called the start okay now this start method is actually defined in the javafx dot application dot application class okay the application class from which we are deriving now as you can see we are taking in a primary stage for this application and it is that stage object onto which of course our application scene scene will actually be set okay so the application scene is actually the container that is going to hold our content so first we go ahead and instantiate that particular scene so var scene equal to new scene uh, sorry var scene equal to scene of course this is kotlin so we don't have to use we don't use the new keyword while constructing an object okay so we just come var sin sin then we pass in a group instance so group of course is right here a group is actually a layout that is defined in the java effects the scene package so we pass a group instance inside our scene remember scene as you said is the container for our content then the stage object we're going to set the title stage the title we set the title there then of course we come and then set the width of the stage then you also the height of the stage okay then once we've done that one we're going to have a label which is basically an uneditable text control that is going to show our caption so we come and say call it title label equal to label okay we instantiate the label then we pass in the text that will be rendered in that particular label in this case kotlin array list of nebulas once we have that one, then we're going to set the font for our label. So title label dot font equal to font. We instantiate the font, passing in the name Lucida as well as the size of 20. Then once we have that one, then we're going to have a list view, which will be rendering our data vertically. So var list view, list view, we instantiate the list view. Then we come m list view equal to, remember m list view is actually an object. So we come m list view equal to list view we assign it to the list view then we go ahead populate data so populate data and handle item clicks these are custom methods that we're going to define in a short while then we come we're going to have our view box which is basically a layout that will allow us to lay out uh, our children vertically okay so the view box will actually lay out its children in a vertical manner now in a linear fashion so we come vbox dot spacing we set the spacing to 5.0 then we set the padding we pass in we pass it we assign it an inset subject with top right bottom as well as left parameters then we're going to get all the children from the vbox so vbox the children then we're going to invoke the add all method then we add its children first the title label then the second is the list view now once we have that one we're going to set the alignment to our view box where it's going to be placed okay so view box dot alignment equal to pose dot center in the center of our window now we're going to have a group okay we're going to obtain a group and a group actually contains an observable list that is going to contain our rendered children okay the children that we're going to render so come right of our group we're going to get it from the scene remember we had passed in a group instance in our scene 
or instantiating the sin so val group equal to sin dot root then of course we cast it to a group now once we have that one we're going to come group the children dot add then we add the view box as a child of the group once we've done that one then we'll set the layout x to 100 then we're going to come and then stage dot scene equal to scene so we set of course our scene property we assign our scene property of our stage class of our stage object we assign it to the scene that of course we did instantiate earlier on right here so once you've done that one then you're going to show stage to show to show our window then once you've done that one now let's come and see how to populate our list view with the array list so private fun populate data then we'll come val nebula equal to array list we we'll instantiate an array list of strings then we're going to add our data so we add all the nebulas that we want then once we've populated our array list then we're going to come and then uh, retrieve our list view so m list view as list view okay well, then you assign it to this lv of data type list view now once you have that one then we'll come and say for nebula in nebula we're going to instantiate through our nebulas lv dot items dot add we add our nebula then we're going to handle our item clicks for the list view so we come and say private fun handle item clicks then these are list view item clicks that you're handling our javafx list view item clicks so val lv list view equal to m list view as list view then you will come lv dot set on mouse clicked when the mouse in is actually clicked or the focus is on our list view then you're going to get the selected item so val selected item equal to lv dot selected model then dot selected item then dot to string now once we've obtained it then we're going to come and say val d equal to alert then alert dot alert type dot information then you pass in the selected item that is the item that you want to render or display so the moment we've done that one will come and say d dot show to show our alert dialog well then it's now time to launch the application so we're going to create a method called go that is taking in an array of strings now here we're going to call application dot launch to launch our application then we're going to have of course an object so right here companion object then we come it's right here that we're going to have our main method so this method is going to be static so at jvm static so fun main this is our main method so as you can see taking in an array of strings then neb dot go to launch of course our application so that's it let's now proceed over and then run the project so if you run the project as you can see this is what you get of course we have our nice list view we select an item and it gets rendered in an alert dialog so this is what we've looked at we're going to attach the source code in our website https campusha.info for now like this video share it and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss any of our Kotlin tutorial. Otherwise, take care. I'll catch you in the next class.